Fatty liver disease is driving the new epidemic in hepatology. We've now reached the point where we can treat hepatitis C successfully, uh, so we're seeing more obviously the disease burden linked to fatty liver. It's estimated that between 17 and 46 percent of the world's population have fatty liver disease or risk factors for fatty liver disease. The two major issues that drive it, and they are both pertinent to India, are being overweight and obese, but also diabetes mellitus and the other elements of the metabolic syndrome. So we understand the population at risk, and we know within that uh, subsets go on to develop uh, fibrosis as a consequence of uh, the fatty liver, and that leads to cirrhosis, which in turn leads to liver failure, and the complication of hepatocellular carcinoma. In the era of liver transplantation, fatty liver disease is now emerging as a significant demand for uh, liver transplantation and the use of organs. The challenge is to identify and classify the risks within these patients. And that is becoming much easier now with a major technological development called the fibre scan. This is a non-invasive way of determining both the amount of fat in the liver as well as the amount of fibrosis that develops as a consequence of that fat. It is very simple. It is carried out in about two minutes. It is very reliable, particularly in patients who are not overweight. And this is a technique that is now being used both in primary care and in hospitals to very quickly evaluate uh, patients with fatty liver disease. If you get a score, you identify fat in the liver, but you don't have fibrosis, you probably do not need long-term follow-up from the liver perspective. However, you do need to address the issues that are driving it, and they typically relate to diet and lifestyle. Recent easel recommendations that the European Association for the Study of Liver has been quite specific in the kind of uh, targets we should be setting for our patients. The first part target is patients who are overweight to lose between 7 and 10 percent of their body weight in a slow and manageable way. And the important thing is that this weight loss is sustained. And there are good evidence to indicate that this is effective in reducing fat in the diet. The second issue relates to exercise, and this is probably uh, more difficult in the Indian culture, which is less, I think, uh, embracing of exercise as part of a lifestyle. The new recommendations are that there should be between 150 and 200 minutes per week of exercise delivered in three to five sessions. So that's typically going on the treadmill, uh, for 30 to 40 minutes, three to four times a week. Brisk walking is also effective, not casual walking. You need to get the heart rate up to about 120 uh, to be effective. A new insight is that resistance exercise is as almost as effective as aerobic exercise. So that broadens the type of exercise that is linked to an improvement. A very important issue is that there is no recognized drug treatment yet for non-alcohol related fatty liver disease. No drug that has been tested uh, and has been proven in a phase three trial and as a result none of the major regulatory bodies like the FDA approves a drug specifically for NAFLD. Nevertheless there are a range of drugs that we do consider using in the patients where we find the more severe evidence of disease and where there is a greater need for intervention. And those type of drugs uh, typically will include drugs that increase uh, insulin uh, sensitivity because insulin resistance is a major driver of fatty liver disease. Uh, and drugs like vitamin E, omega oils, or acid. These agents can be considered in individual patients uh, with fairly advanced disease and the need uh, for an intervention. The future, ideally, is a public health uh, promotion.
to generate uh, improved diet and uh, exercise, both from the perspective of liver disease, but probably far more importantly from the general health measures uh, in cardiovascular disease, etc. And also reducing the incidence of diabetes is a major objective. In my view, uh, this kind of public health awareness needs to get the same level of uh, prominence in the population as cessation of smoking, for example. So ideally, that is what we would like to see over the next five years. However, public health policy is very difficult to implement. And against that background, I think the great hope is that we will develop drugs that will either reduce the amount of fat in the liver, or probably and more importantly, uh, reduce the fibrotic response to that fat. Uh, I think the investment worldwide in, by drug companies in this area is now increasing. I think it, and if it gets the same concentrated attention that hepatitis C got and that delivered the fantastic results it has delivered, then somebody giving this uh, interview in five or eight years' time may actually be quite specific about drug interventions to uh, eliminate this problem.